The Yankees have held productive discussions with free agent right-hander Marcus Stroman recently. Subscribe to the channel to receive the latest news from the Yankees. Stroman himself is coming off an injury-ruined second half of his second and perhaps final season as a member of the Cubs. The two-time All-Star had pitched his way into Cy Young talks through the first half of the season, compiling a pristine 2.28 ERA with a 21.4% strikeout rate, 8.7% walk rate and a massive 60% ground ball rate in his first 16 starts, a span of 98 and two-thirds innings. Stroman, however, allowed 30 runs over his next 30 innings before hitting the injured list with a hip injury. While rehabbing that, he was diagnosed with a rib cartilage fracture that kept him on the shelf all the way into mid-September. Stroman returned to pitch eight shaky innings and then opted out of the final year in $21 million of his contract. If you suffer from erectile dysfunction I want you to know the Rhino Gold Gel. Rhino Gold Gel is a male enhancement product designed to eliminate male sexual problems including low libido, erectile failure, erectile dysfunction, and penile size. I left the link below in the description of this video and fixed in the comments. In September of 2019, Cashman acknowledged to Wallace Matthews of ESPN that the Yankees held some interest in Stroman at that year's trade deadline, Stroman ultimately landed with the Mets, before adding that they passed because they didn't think he would be a difference maker and that the right-hander would be in our bullpen in the postseason. Perhaps some of that still holds true, the Yankees could well view Stroman as their fourth starter. Regardless of where the Yankees feel he'd slot into the staff, there's little doubt that Stroman is a clear upgrade for the team's rotation. Stroman's performance has been consistently better than average, and his perennially strong groundball rates have helped him post low home run rates throughout his career. Do you think the Yankees will sign with him? Leave your opinion in the comments. I'll be back soon with more updates from the Yankees.